Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So I get asked quite often, where is the best place to connect my phone in the Range Rover Velar? Now I've got the screen that opens up like this and there's no real place to connect it next to the screen or behind the steering wheel or to the sides. I normally connect it with my wired USB cable and just keeping it in the front dash here. Now I'd like to use this space for my drinks and my sunglasses and so on so I bought this uh, fast wireless in-car charger from Amazon. Now I'm going to be showing you guys connecting this into my Velar vents. Now hopefully this works and it doesn't get in the way of the screen but it's a really cool automatic in-car mount. If you bring your phone close to it, it should open up automatically and just connect it so you don't have to fiddle around with it, push it in and out and that kind of stuff. So let's see how that goes. Alright guys, so I tried to put it inside the vent but it wouldn't fit because the size of this just got in the way of the screen so when the screen opens and closes it just would have not worked. So I've connected it to the to the windscreen attachment. Now I can possibly attach it up in the windscreen but I don't think the USB cable is long enough for that but it can be placed on top of the front dash here. Now. I don't feel like it's actually strong enough to stay there. If I just leave it, I reckon it'll just end up falling by itself. As you just seen there. So it's not practical. I don't think there's anywhere where I can put it. It's not going to work in, in my Velar, but I'm going to try and put it in my other car and just use the air vent option there. So. In this situation it has failed, it hasn't done a great, great job, it's not that strong in the stickiness of this padding, but let's have a look in the other car. Alright guys, so I'm here in my Chrysler Sebring, now here is the attachment for the air vents, so I'm going to stick that on the back of this, tighten that. Now there's a better chance of this working because there's nothing in the way and the USB port is literally right next to the screen. So there's no wires sort of going all around, so I can tie this up as well. Now I'm going to be putting my phone in there. You can see it has picked up the wireless charging and now it started to charge. So this is the ideal place for it. I'm going to set it up here and leave it in this car. Still trying to explore the best options to charge my phone in the villa. But hopefully I'll get there one day and find a better solution, so keep an eye out for that. So thanks for watching guys, um, if you did like the video then please do subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.